Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and today I have for you guys a pre-Christmas grocery haul. So I specifically this month really, really protected $300. So like a few days before Christmas. I know that sounds like a lot of money, but it isn't just for like 24 hours of food. It's kind of for the food leading up to Christmas so that while we're busy, prepping the Christmas food. We have some quick kind of meals uh, that we can prepare and it also includes making sure that we have food for like the day or two after Christmas so that when we're kind of like all coming down off of the uh, Christmas craziness we also have some groceries for that. So like I said I really really I worked very very hard at protecting $300 for that and so today was the day. It is Sunday. Um, is today the 22nd? Yes it is. It is Sunday December 22nd and last night what I did is make a great big list of everything that we're going to be having. So I pretty much plan for three different food events for Christmas. One is Christmas Eve and we attend Mass at 4 o'clock in the evening and when we come home we have like heavy appetizers is kind of what we've always called it uh, and I'll kind of show you some of the things in the hall that we're going to be having. The second meal time is Christmas breakfast so I kind of have some traditions that go along with that and then that would be like Christmas morning breakfast and then also Christmas dinner which would just be kind of the middle of the day at some point on Christmas Day we have a big dinner with really whoever is able to be here so um, there was a lot of food that was involved in that I did have a number of things you know because I use a lot of stuff from my like canning shelves and from the freezer and things like that but of course there's always things I have to buy oh and the Sun wow 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 okay the sun is kind of like low right now. Beautiful, beautiful day. Though, I mean, I actually have my window rolled down a little bit in town. That's how nice it is. So, um, here we go. At Aldi, I spent a total of $170.36. And then, at Walmart, I had just under $6.00 that I spent on, you know, like grocery things. I did have to pick up a couple gro or a couple Christmas presents at Walmart still today, but those were not in this total. And then I also spent $61.25 at our local IGA. So let's turn the camera around and get going on this. I always like to start out with meat, and I do apologize if there's some funny shadows here. Maybe I actually will shut the curtains. We'll see. Okay, so... On Christmas Day, we always have a ham dinner, and I really wanted a whole ham and not a couple hams. So this year, I did pick up the ham at at IGA. They happen to have Hillshire Farm there. I'm usually not that picky about the brand of ham that I uh, purchase. I just want to make sure that it is not a honey ham because we don't really like that uh, sweetness added. Hams are expensive. This ham was $2.49 a pound, and it was $46.69. So I hope everybody likes it. <laughs> okay, next up on Christmas Eve, I always make meatballs. Usually I do like the kind of cranberry sauce and chili sauce mixed together or some sort of meatball um, dish. We also do bacon-wrapped meat bites. So sometimes we'll do venison. This year we're actually going to be doing venison. Many, many years when Nick was doing a lot of duck hunting, we would do bacon wrapped duck bites. But this year it's going to be bacon wrapped venison bites. That's something I just put into the oven uh, before we even leave for church. I let it cook on a pretty low temperature and when we get home from church it is pretty close to being done. So this here was a new product that I saw at Aldi's. These they call biscuit ham slices. They look like they'd be the perfect, and I think, I think it's leaking or something. Ugh, I don't know. Something seems kind of wet over here. The ham slices here. These this was a new product I saw at Aldi's. The biscuit ham slices, just a really nice uh, size I thought for breakfast ham. We I will probably put those with our um, Christmas morning breakfast. Okay, I did pick up some uncoated paper plates because I think on Christmas Day we're going to play a game that's kind of fun to do, and I needed uncoated paper plates for that. I always pick up a few boxes of cereal. I got some just plain old cornflakes. I did get the Honey Nut Crispy Oats, a family, great big family size box, and then the Honey Grams. 
So that should uh, last us through for a few days. Actually, I purchased the cornflakes specifically because I'm going to be making some cheesy potatoes, and that is the topping for that. I did pick up two things of butter, although I do have butter in the um, refrigerator still, but butter is still at $1.99 a pound, so I like to just kind of keep on stocking up on that when I can. We'll be doing pickle bites for Christmas Eve. That's where you take a piece of like a little quarter piece of sausage and a square of some sort of cheese and then a little bite of pickle and you, ske um, and you skewer it with a toothpick and then put it out on a tray and it's just like everybody's favorite, favorite little hors d'oeuvre. So easy, so good. It's a nice low carb hors d'oeuvre and um, yeah, you can mix it up with different uh, flavors of cheese. So I did get some sharp cheddar and some pepper jack Colby Jack, two of those, and two mild cheddars. I do have some recipes I'll be making, like the cheesy potatoes. I'll have to shred uh, cheese for that. And then I also am going to be, we ate all of the Doritos, <laughs> of course we did, for the, um, for the, I think it's called cheesy Dorito chicken or something like that that I want to make. And so I had to get of course, I had to buy more Doritos. Those are someplace over there, but I need cheese for that as well. Okay, I did see the jalapeno cheese curds. I love those, so I picked those up. Some cream cheese here because I am going to be making spinach and artichoke dip for Christmas Eve, so I needed a brick of cream cheese for that. I also needed sour cream for that and a tub of sour cream for the cheesy potatoes. This is just a favorite of a lot of the kids, this port wine cheese. Uh, if you let that come up to room temperature and then serve it with some really good crackers, it makes a really, really nice uh, kind of hors d'oeuvre or snack for Christmas Eve. And then I did pick up some dill dip because we will be putting together, and I have the vegetables over there, but we will be putting together um, something we've done for the last couple of years, I think, and that's where we actually sort of make a... Uh, relish tray that looks kind of like a Christmas tree or a wreath and you just use all kinds of vegetables and um, that's kind of fun to do too. Okay so for the spinach and artichoke dip I needed some Romano cheese so I thought this was about as close as I was going to get at Aldi for that. Some whipped topping. Oh, Warren. Timer. Warren's making some cookies here this afternoon but um so I, for Christmas dinner, I'm going to make a chocolate torte dessert. It's one of Warren's favorites, so I picked up the Cool Whip for that. Here's the cream of chicken for something. I can't remember why I needed that, but I picked that up. And then here are the artichoke hearts for the dip. Picked up two cans of pork and beans just because we were out. And then two cans of black olives are going to be for our relish tray or like on the veggie tray or whatever for Christmas um, Eve appetizers. For Christmas dinner, uh, we're going to be doing some just plain old rolls, so I'm going to get these in the freezer right now. For Christmas morning breakfast, we do, I always make up a dessert. I can put a link in the description box below uh, to that. I guess we call it a, a dessert. It's more of like a cream cheese danish with fruit uh, filling, and you can either make it as a wreath or you can make it as a candy cane. So I did pick up the crescent rolls for that. Somehow, uh, I took Joseph uh, shopping with me today because he had to buy his like secret Santa gift, and um, you know the kids exchanged names, and so we hadn't done that yet. So I took him along with me so we could do that, and somehow I don't know he I guess was he knew what was in the freezer and he knew we didn't have any bread, and so he grabbed two loaves of bread, which was a good thing because when I got home. Warren's like, oh, I couldn't make grilled cheese for lunch because we were out of bread. And I'm like, well, Joe knew, and now we have bread again. I did pick up a couple, no, not a couple, just one bag of bagels. I was looking for plain, but they were out, so I picked up the blueberry. I don't know if that's going to be a winner or not, but that's what I got. And then I did pick up two packs of hamburger buns because another thing that Joe had mentioned the other day he, when I was talking about food, he's like barbecue. And I thought, hey, that is a good idea. So I am going to try to, over the next 24 hours, <laughs> put together some barbecue so we can have that after Christmas when we want to just kind of decompress from all the busyness. Picked up quite a bit of fruit, I think, today. I do have a little bit left. I have some... Um, one grapefruit left at home and we still had a few cuties <laughs> but grapes were on sale for a decent price I want to say they were close to a dollar or maybe a dollar oh nine a pound or something like that so I picked up some grapes which it never ceases to amaze me how sticky 
and filthy grapes are. <laughs> but anyway, those will get all scrubbed up. I got four more grapefruit because we always like to have grapefruit on Christmas morning for breakfast. Bananas, of course, because those are just a staple, and some oranges. I still have not made any loaves of cranberry nut bread, and so I need oranges for that, and so I bought those today. So hopefully that is another thing that's going to happen in the next 24 hours. Picked up some more cranberries because... I thought that we, I, I had just bought two bags, but they already got eaten or are nearly gone. And so I picked up some more. And I just want to remind you guys, if you are new to my channel, um, I do share a lot of tips and things when it comes to cranberries because we are cranberry farmers. I just want to point out, if you have not heard me say this before, when you're looking to buy dried, at least the sweetened dried cranberries, you really want to look, and the sun is making it hard to look in here, but you want to look in the opening and make sure that they look kind of uh, shiny and that they actually have sort of a juicy appearance. If they look like they have little bits of white on them, which would be kind of the sugars um, crystallizing, you're going to get a grainy product and it's not going to be top notch. So definitely, definitely look at your cranberries when you're purchasing them. I have on more than one occasion bought dried cranberries that I was not pleased with the quality. So for sure, for sure, look at your cranberries and make sure that they uh, look kind of shiny and that they actually look juicy. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Maria is just a singing in the background right now. Here's some broccoli, some sugar snap peas, and some cucumbers for our relish tray. I already have a few other things. Here's the carrots for the relish tray. We're going to be having some salad over the next couple of days to go with the meals. And so I got two bags of salad, one thing of romaine. And then I was completely out of frozen vegetables. I got one California medley, one asparagus spears and two of the broccoli florets just to pop in the freezer. Brussels sprouts were a great price and I thought that would be a great thing to just roast up tomorrow to go with a meal. It's quick, it's easy, and for me it's just something I absolutely love. And it keeps me, they're so satisfying when roasted with olive oil and salt that it keeps me away from some of the other things that, um, you know, fill in the tummy area. <laughs> um, let's see, so for breakfast on Christmas morning, these are the pie fillings that I chose this year. We always do cherry, and then I always pick something else, either blueberry, we've done apple before, um, I've done cranberry before, like just made my own cranberry uh, pie filling. Uh, this year I went with the strawberry pie filling. I don't think we've ever done that before. I did pick up some of the Hershey Kisses because I still want to make peanut butter blossoms for Christmas and every time I look for the Christmas stars like the Brock's stars or the Fleet Farm stars they have been out of them that's what I prefer but this is going to work too so another one of the things that I want to get done in the next 24 hours I also picked up some dark chocolate morsels here from Aldi because I would like to make some um, it is called butter kind of like a butter toffee crunch or a almond it might be called almond crunch I, I always forget what we call it but anyways it's just a recipe I've been making for like 23 years or something I got gotten it from a friend years ago and it's one of those where you cook the sugar and the uh, corn syrup and, and, and everything and um, then you cook it to hard crack and then you put the chocolate over it with the almonds and everything so yummy yummy again another thing to do in the next 24 hours <laughs> uh, a bag of sugar because I do hope to make some cranberry sauce here coming up as well here is for the dessert that we're going to be having on after our Christmas dinner, which is going to be chocolate tort, and that is yummy, yummy. I feel like I have this recipe on my channel someplace, and if I can find it, I will link to that as well. It's one of Warren's all-time favorite, favorite desserts. Um, some granola bars just to appease the kids over the next couple of days when we need a quick snack. Some more of the almonds. Haven't bought those in a while. I also am just about out of cashews, so I thought I'd pick those up. Two uh, of these little mini stacks of Pringles. Warren loves Pringles. Well, everybody loves Pringles. But um, pick those up just to kind of have over the next couple of days. Back here, I have some cranberry juice cocktail. That will be to add to Christmas breakfast. Some crackers. Now, these two boxes of crackers can be eaten just as kind of snacks over the next couple of days if anybody wants cheese and crackers. Um, this was a product at Aldi. Uh, I'm assuming that it's kind of a special thing for Christmas here. It was this trio. It has sea salt, za'atar, <laughs> and spicy cheddar crackers. I thought that those looked uh, really, really good. 
to go with the spinach and artichoke dip. I did get a bottle of champagne for Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve lunch, I thought I'm going to be busy doing other things, so I bought four pizzas for that day, and then some multi green chips, and then some red and green Christmas tortilla chips here for either salsa or for now. One of the things that I like to do for my mom, actually she reminded me this year because I sometimes forget, <laughs> she really, really likes the caramel corn that's made with the puffed corn rather than the regular popcorn that has the hulls in it. And so this will be like a gift to her. I'm sure she'll just put it out and let everybody eat it, but that is going to be a gift to her. And then some regular potato chips and two bags of nacho chips. One is going to be specifically for that Dorito um, chicken bake that I'm going to be making. I think I'm going to be making that tomorrow. We'll have to see. Okay, so that is everything that I bought for this pretty, pretty big, I'd say, pretty big uh, pre-Christmas grocery haul. I hope that this is enough groceries to get us through all of these days with all of the things that are going to be going on and all of the fun that we're going to be having. I hope that you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas, and we will see you again very, very soon with a brand new video. So you guys have a fantastic day wherever it is you are, and I hope that you're getting sunshine. We are having just a beautiful sunny day here, and I'm loving it. Take care. Bye-bye.